Hello everyone and welcome aboard the beautiful Endar Spire. I'm Darth Revan and I'll be your tour guide today. Over here to my right is my good friend Darth Malak. Don't make eye contact. He's prone to violence. Just kidding guys, I'm Negative Zero. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing alright. Uh, what this means, what this means is, uh, you can play KOTOR of course on your Shield Android TV, but the KOTOR Save Editor, which if you don't know, was designed to edit PC saves, works for Android saves as well. When Asper made the PC port, uh, excuse me, the Android port for this game, they basically used the PC game so the KOTOR Save Editor works as well. A couple things you should know about this. Uh, this was not the easiest thing in the world to do. Uh, I actually, back when I was playing on the Ouya, I did my whole walkthrough on the Ouya, I actually had a corrupted save at one point and I had to move my save. I didn't use the save editor, but I had to, or not, not a corrupted save, but a corrupted game somehow, but I had to use an older save. I don't even remember. It was so long ago, but I had to reinstall Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, you know what? It was an Ouya problem, not a KOTOR problem. I had to uh, factory reset and I, of course, didn't have my KOTOR save, and I was halfway through my KOTOR walkthrough. So I had to get the save before I did the factory reset, and then reinstall it. It's a little complicated, you have to do a zip file, uh, but there are tutorials out there, I'll put them in the links below. Uh, what I really should have done here is use the home button to say, uh, to show that I really am doing this on the SHIELD TV. Uh, I completely forgot, though, so sorry about that. But anyway, using the KOTOR save editor, one thing I've noticed, I think you have to have Knights of the Old Republic installed on your PC or Mac. I don't think it, it will do it. I tried to just use the save editor with the save from my Android game, uh, from the Shield uh, Android TV, and it didn't work. It, it would uh, open up the, uh, the editor and it would not detect the game or specific files, I'm not really sure, and it wouldn't. Uh, let me use the program. So I actually, I have uh, the game on Steam, so I had to download that to my PC, uh, and it worked fine. Uh, what I did, I obviously changed my appearance, and uh, the Darth Malak is obviously Trask. He, uh, he looks a little different now. I gave us both uh, a bunch of skills. You can go in and change your, um, your stats and your skills and your feats and your powers. Uh, when I did this, I think I'm about to do this, because you can't go through this door without leveling up. Yeah, you can, uh, I'm recording this post-commentary, by the way. You can see that the skills uh, are all kind of high for just starting the game. Uh, I totally forgot to do the powers, um, but I put in a bunch of feats for myself uh, that I think I'm demonstrating throughout this uh, playthrough. So, the thing is, you can change all sorts of stuff. You can make yourself look like the Sand People, uh, you can make yourself look like Bastila. Uh, you can do whatever you want with it as long as you're just editing editing the save. Uh, it's not a mod. You're not modifying the game in any way. You're just editing your save. So uh, it doesn't... You can also change your locations. I think you can go to different places and you can change uh, the quests. Uh, maybe even... I, I didn't play with this too much, but maybe even the quests and so on. But anyway, you can find out more about that. If you already know about KOTOR Save Editor, you've done some modding, uh, some modding of, uh, of KOTOR on the PC. You already know all of this, but the point of this video is to show that it works great for the Shield Android TV, Android in general. Uh, one thing you should know, I'm not using the Google Play version of this game, I'm using the Amazon Underground version because the Google Play version is $10 and the Amazon Underground version is free. So keep that in mind. I think uh, the Amazon one is version 1.0.7 and the Google Play is 1.0.6. I don't think it makes a difference. So anyway, that's everything I can think of. I had a great time with this. Oh, one more thing you should know. Uh, I think if you edit your appearance uh, too much, uh, the dream sequences get messed up. You can see, um, or you will see, or maybe I'll edit it out, but after the end our spark end our spire sequence where you uh, crash onto Terrace and then you have the dream sequence, I think with Bastila in it, you... the, the game stops. It crashes the game. Or it, it doesn't really crash the game. You just get stuck in a, in a weird room 
and you can't you're not on terrace it's like you're still in the escape pod it's really weird but you can't do anything so i think it's because uh my face is the darth revan face that it can't do the uh, it's and it's not a pc face it can't do the dream sequence uh so that is an issue to uh, think about as well you may be messing up uh some stuff for the game if you go ahead and do that i think this this may be the last room before we uh meet car and and get out of here so that's pretty much going to do it for this video, if you have any questions, or if there's anything I failed to address, please uh, please leave a comment below. I'll try to try to answer as many questions as I can. I'm not really an expert on this. I was just pleasantly surprised to find out that this worked. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little exhibition. Take care.